In our last video, we looked at the process of drilling down into a market in order to find a theme keyword. The example we used was looking into the saxophone market and drilling down to find the tenor saxophone niche and then drilling down even further to find the how to play saxophone micro niche. In this video, we're going to look at the next step of the process, which is to use our theme keyword to find a series of category keywords. An easy way to understand the difference between your theme keyword and your category keywords is to imagine that your theme keyword describes the overall theme of your website, while the category keywords describe the different categories of information contained within your website. For example, if I was to create a website targeting the how to play saxophone micro niche, my category keywords might include phrases like saxophone accessories or Selma saxophones, which is a type of saxophone. From an SEO perspective, category keywords are phrases that are related to your theme keyword and also meet the same SEO criteria as your theme keyword, which you'll remember was as follows. They have an SEO traffic value of greater than 80, they have an SEO competition value of less than 30,000 and they have a phrase to broad match ratio of greater than 15%. So let's go to Market Samurai and take a look at how to use our theme keyword to find related category keywords. The project I created in my last video is still here, so I'm just going to click on it to bring up my previous results. Now just to recap, the theme keyword I selected at the end of my research last time was how to play saxophone. Now what I want to do is to find as many other keywords as possible that are related to this theme keyword. The first step is to go to the keyword sources area of Market Samurai and make sure that I've checked the include additional drop down and that I've checked the Google search keywords box. This ensures that behind the scenes Market Samurai will generate a comprehensive list of related keywords using multiple keyword sources. Now all I have to do is go over here and click the generate keywords button. I enter a capture and Market Samurai brings back the data. In this example, Market Samurai has found 168 related keywords. Now I want to explore these keywords in more detail, so all I have to do is come down here and click the Analyze Keywords button. One thing I should point out is that at any time I can sort these results by clicking on the heading of any of these columns. So, if I wanted to rank my potential category keywords by the average daily search volume, all I have to do is click on the searches heading. Now it's time to filter my potential category keywords to find out how many of them meet our SEO criteria. As you might remember from my previous video, the first filter you should apply is a traffic filter. So, to do that, I'll go up here and set the SEO traffic value to 80 and then click the Refresh Filters button. As you can see, this has reduced my active keyword list to just 68. Now, with this reduced list, I can ask Market Samurai to obtain my SEO competition data. Just to reiterate, it's very important to reduce the size of my keyword set before I do a competition analysis, so that I minimise my impact on Google. To conduct my competition analysis, all I have to do is click the Analyze Keywords button up here. Market Samurai now brings back the competition data for these potential category keywords. And you'll see that the SEOC column has now been populated. Now that I have my data, I can set a competition filter of 30,000. To do this, I'll just go up to the SEO competition filter, click the plus sign, 
and enter the value of 30,000. And the final filter I'll add is to set the PBR to 15. So the keywords that are now left in my list are all related to the how to play saxophone micro niche and they have an SEO traffic value of greater than 80, an SEO competition value of less than 30,000 and a PBR of greater than 15%. As you can see in this list there are a few terms that aren't really related to playing saxophone so I can delete these keywords by clicking on the crosses over here. So I'll get rid of how to play flute, how to play recorder, how to play trumpet, how to play clarinet, how to play F, how to play notes, high, ocarina, double, This leaves me with four category keywords, one of which is my original theme keyword. In this example, that may or may not be quite as many as I'd like, although the traffic values may still make this worthwhile pursuing. While there's no hard and fast rules here, generally speaking, the more category keywords you can find in your micro niche, the better. For the 30 day challenge, we'd suggest that you have at least three or four category keywords before you select a niche to work with. If you only have one or two category keywords, your niche is probably a little thin and it may be time to investigate another different niche. What we're really trying to achieve here is to build a website that is optimised for our main theme keyword and also contains additional pages that are optimised for related category keywords. This kind of structure maximises our chances of achieving a high ranking in the search engines. Just to recap, in this video we've looked at the process of using our theme keyword to find related category keywords that also meet our main SEO criteria. We'd suggest that you have at least three or four category keywords before you select a micro niche to work with. 